Hello and welcome to Real Hi-Fi Hell, bringing you underrated audiophile albums number two. First album is uh, Queen, The Miracle. There's especially the tracks of Seven, Rain Must Fall, Scandal, and My Baby Does Me, and some few others. Um, that were quite interesting, especially on vinyl. It just had a really good almost nasty type of, of sound really re really really cool um then uh, julio iglesias with libra surprisingly good recording the way that the some of the few songs just comes through almost like a, a wave washing over you it's just fantastic um there are also some few really bad tracks on it i think like two or three out of maybe 10 so uh, just take that into consideration but yeah just like overly smooth nice loving uh, 1980s vibe just fantastic on vinyl uh, perhaps also good on CD I'm not sure and um, then we've got Merillion script for justice tier this is some freaky rock music um really good quality um dramatic entertaining just just very very different you just kind of have to hear it for your own for yourself to to kind of appreciate it and um i'm usually not the john denver type of guy but this particular album was really inviting and just wonderful absolutely wonderful so much love S such a good recording again on vinyl exceptionally good i i think that if if two guys in a room would listen to this on cd or on a streamer they'd just go like what the fuck mate <laughs> what are you doing um it would just be really awkward and, and weird and you know all this flower power sort of thing but you know, on vinyl, I don't know why, but on vinyl, it just sounds ridiculously good. And something, if you can at all appreciate uh, Danish or just the flow of this album, you don't necessarily have to understand the language, but Anadorda Mikkelsen, Nista Dance on vinyl, uh, I think only on vinyl sounds really good, just beautiful, absolutely beautiful. This is kind of a freaky funk rock type of pop sound, maybe. Uh, I don't really know what to call this hybrid uh, funk, whatever. Toto's Hydra album. Really, 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 really nice 1980s vibe. Uh, I like it, you know, I really like it. Just really special, especially on vinyl. And then, you know, the classic Roy Orbison mystery girl, the entire album is just fantastic, especially on vinyl, but also sounds pretty damn good on, on CD. So beautiful music, absolutely beautiful. And then we have the Joe Bonamassa Royal Albert Hall album. And, you know, almost every <clears throat> song on this album is just amazingly recorded. Uh, sounds great on vinyl, sounds great on CD so professional i mean just can't say how how good joe bonamassa really is he's just so professional with everything he does and he's so rehearsed and versatile with his style he, he can imitate like 20 different uh, guitarists and play in many different uh, kinds of ways so ultra talented guy you just have to own the royal albert hall album from I think it's 2009. He probably made a second one after that, but the original one from 2009 on CD, on vinyl, they both sound good. I have them both. <laughs> this here is probably my favorite Joe Bonamassa album because it has that old style original sound that Joe Bonamassa never went back to. I really wish that he would make a sound like this again but you know he goes through albums he through stages it's a bit like mariah carey you just don't know how the next album is going to sound like sometimes it just sounds very weird and modern and, and and okay but um i like this Jimi hendrix raw dirty type of guitar play in this album 
just amazing. Um, it's amazing on CD. It's amazing on vinyl. Amazing, amazing, amazing. And this is where you really get to feel the potential of Joe Bonamassa. And I wish that the guys that were producing his uh, tracks and were, were and and are working with him would, you know, eventually somehow go back to this raw old original style that he had i really liked it it's kind of a freaky almost Jimi hendrix type of of vibe that you get so uh yeah i think this is my favorite album from joe bonamassa you and me and this is probably my second or third favorite album from joe bonamassa also just fantastic the the tonality the vibe the 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 um, different guitars he plays in this album it sounds great on vinyl and on cd because i have them both um fantastic recording really classic joe bonamassa again th this kind of uh special old vibe not, not entirely raw like you and me but it's a bit more polished and, and up-to-date mainstream but just fantastic, simply fantastic. One of those rare beauties that, you know, when we're in the future, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 years, we're going to look back at this and, and, and going to go like, oh, yeah, yeah, one of the greats. You know, th this is just a fantastic album. And then, yeah, for the, I would say, freaky type of person who's into this, like, alternative rock, soft rock type of thing, um interesting album not as good as uh, never turn your back on a friend from budgie but still you know freaky unpredictable lots of bites uh, naughty type of non-mainstream rock music and i really like that you know and not, not instead of us having to be brainwashed by this very repeatable uh, normal regular rock that we're used to listening to you know the the, the ones that we're used to listening to the 80s the 90s um, this this modern type of stuff that's just so predictable and, and then when they repeat the same verse five or ten times throughout the song and there's no style there's no class there's no anything this is just amazing you know just, just the artistry that goes in generally in in budgie and all of their albums but also this album in this is one of the most better ones uh, i've heard so yeah that 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 kind of covers it all in, in this video and um yeah try and remember to uh, like and subscribe and look at my yeah plus 200 other videos have a nice day bye